So I feel like Rich, Richie's a bit of a dick, he's too busy with his own thing to really see what's going on in front of him, that his best friend might be feeling some way he doesn't really see it. Well, I particularly hope a younger generation watches it. I mean, I've got their 18 year olds in my family and I've kind of got no idea that this happened. Keely's obviously phenomenal. She's so lovely. So yeah. it's really hard to just like shout at her because <laughs> she's yeah. so nice. My goodness, I can't believe it's over. Um, la to you, Lydia West. La Alexander. Welcome to the last installation of the It's a Sin After Hours pub. <laughs> so, we've got a great show. We're going to talk about the final episode, which was so mm. right. <laughs> And later we're going to chat to Russell T. Davies, the brains Whoa. behind all of this business. Now, gang. I see a lot of love going on between the Pink Palace crew. And I wonder, does that extend to offstage? And more importantly, is there a WhatsApp group? There is. There is. There are a few oh, WhatsApp groups. She doesn't reply that much. No, sometimes I do. I, 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 like, to, I like to message all the boys privately, but yeah, sometimes yeah. I contribute to the group if it's something important. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like Liz yeah, is pretty yeah. integral to everyone. And so, like, you probably need to, like, do different for different people. Yeah. You know, that's more personal. Well. You guys are going to have so much fun once, like, people start making memes and gifts of the show? I, I've seen one already. Have you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me getting fucked. <laughs> 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 Obviously. How do you feel about, like, your family <laughs> watching you get it in? I told my mum, I was like, you know what, you got please be prepared. There's, like, some intimate scenes. And she's like, well, I've seen it all before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes mama. I'm like, I, Yeah, I guess you have seen it all before. <laughs> You know, we're not going to watch it together. Not episode, none of the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, but she's five. We can watch five, yeah. Aww. She's a cool mum. She's one of those mums. You've talked in the past, Ollie, about your own experience coming out and coming mm. out to your mum. What was that like? You know, I actually called my mum on the phone and I said, I've seen the doctor and they've given me antidepressants. And also, by the way, I'm gay. <laughs> 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 I thought you should know and she was just like you know and she was actually like okay cool cool that's fine that makes sense you know and she didn't <clears throat> make a fuss about it at all at all and then she said that she felt she had a bit of a blind spot to it because she just was worried that it would be a harder life for me to be gay and so she just mm. didn't want to acknowledge it when she said that I was like oh wow that really like made a lot of sense to me and because I, I had all these questions like well why didn't you see that I was this gay mm. kid struggling but she couldn't really see it or she did but she kind of put it in some other place in her brain and stuff and it really yeah. kind of puts you in a place to understand um Valerie right totally do you think I should have known maybe Valerie Richie's mom played by Keely Halls was going through so much like did you guys ever feel bad for her did you see where she was coming from you know if you read the script Valerie you'd be like, oh my God, what a monster this woman is. Mm -hmm. But Keely, the way she played it, you kind of sense there's some things kind of happened to her. I feel like she had some trauma, you know, that maybe her generation in that time, they never really spoke about it. She never really brought it into the open. She just kind of lived with it. Oh, I remember when your granddad was in hospital. He said, if only they'd stopped giving me medicine, I'd be fine. Do you remember him? Yeah. He was a terrible man. You feel yeah. sorry for her because she's so crippled by her own inability to, to, mm. to really show her, like, her son how much she loves him. She can't do it. And almost, I found, like, when she's looking at the way Clive is responding to I his day, you know, of almost, like, jealousy, I, I got kind of, it's like, he can feel and he's, like, mm -hmm. really showing, showing what he feels. There's no cure for her. That's what they say. That's what those queers and those women and their doctors all say, because they all do, and they say, and they think the same things. They all worship the same rubbish. Now you, you, stop it, stop it, stop it! You know what's so good is like, Russell knows these characters so, so well, and I mean, it's all there in the script, right? But maybe people like might not necessarily have picked up on the fact that their marriage really was so, mm -hmm. there was something that was really wrong. So, but it, there's so much hidden in there that I think Russell puts in there, you know, for people to really kind of come to at yeah. some point, so. The shame trickles through to Richie. And I think that's what is amazing about Russell and Russell's writing, that he can do that and he writes that into characters. They're humans, they have lived. How did it feel for you, Lydia, to have that 
like seaside smackdown seaside with Keely so Holtz, who plays Valerie. What an amazing scene, by the way. One of the best scenes. In oh the show. my gosh. So good. The energy that had. All we want to do is see him and say hello and give him our love. He died yesterday. It was a very taxing scene, and um, I just wanted to break down. Freezing cold, no? Freezing. Freezing yeah. cold. It was freezing. They were like, it's the Isle of Wight. You're, you're really cold. You're freezing. I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how can I act more cold? I'm so cold. <laughs> were you there at the end? Oh, I'd gone downstairs. He was on his own. Yes. There was no one with him. That's not my fault. Actually, it is your fault. Filming that scene was just epic. It was one of the first few weeks of filming and um, Keely's obviously phenomenal. She's so lovely. So yeah. it's really hard to just like shout at her. <laughs> She's yeah. so nice. In a, in a way, like the whole series kind of is kind of like gearing up to that moment where Valerie and Jill meet and, and it's just like, it's, it's, it's shocking to watch. Like I get chills thinking about it. I'm just like, oh, oh my God. And Russell's so mean. You know, <laughs> it's you saying that's why I need to see I Jill. Know, I, I know, oof, I know. Oh. Just because she wants to know the stories and everything. It's yeah. like, mm. we, we don't owe you that, that yeah. time that we shared with Richie. We don't owe you anything because you did nothing and you brought this, this on mm. to him. They all die because of you. She's there for him. Oh. Yeah. She really is she like the, the backbone of the community. She you know? really is. Like, Richie's really lucky he's lovable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know. This, I feel like Rich, Richie's a bit of a dick, to be honest. Because he really. I know. I love him too, but he's like, he just doesn't really. He can't see it. He's too busy with his own thing to really see what's going on in front of him. His best friend might be feeling some way he doesn't really see it. And but there was a little bit in the, the first few episodes where they kind of they go out and Richie would just ditch Jill. Yeah. And Jill was just like, she'd be like, I just okay. want him to be happy. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm glad that he's getting some D. <laughs> I'm just like, she was so happy. Oh, I'm just sad. Like, we're at the end of episode five and I didn't see Jill hook up once. I know. And I just. Well, she almost she did. She almost did. Did it get cut out? Yeah, we, had to, <laughs> we did some scenes with a, a colleague at the French Revolution that Jill was kind Ooh. of into, um, but nothing happened between them. Jill needs more, more mm. cred from the crew. You know, carers and people that like Jill are it's such a huge, huge, huge important part of the story that sometimes gets missed, I think. So I think that's why it's, it's really nice in this show that we see it. Well, gang. I think it's time that we welcome the man that brought us It's a Sin, the legendary Russell T. Davies. Hey, Russell! Thank you so much for joining us. Now, how is Wales on this fine day? It's Welsh and it's cold and it's lovely. It's bracing, Wales. You're giving me strong Colin energy. I love it. Uh, what was your experience of the 80s? I visited the Pink Palace. I didn't live in the Pink Palace. I didn't really start going out to my 30s. I always wanted to be a writer. So I saved my wage for years and years and not going out. Partly why I'm writing this as well, to pretend my life was like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything for you, but you did achieve that. Uh, you are a writer and you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll spend that money now. Give us yeah. yeah, you can let it go, man. Uh, <laughs> Ollie, this last episode takes place two years before you were born. What was it like to exist in the 80s for a bit? I've got to say, it's a good era, you know. It's definitely got a good era. The fashion, mm. the color, the colours, you know. Those 80s yeah. colours. Yeah, because yeah, you don't see those colours anymore. <laughs> There's just a different feeling to them, though. Yeah. They just connote differently than they do now. <laughs> Russell, for for you, uh, what was the most important thing to get right? Actually, the joy of the Pink Palace, the gang of mates, it's casting. Mm. But to get a bunch of people to make you feel like you want to be in that flat, you want to be in the Pink Palace, you want to be Richie's friend, you want to be Jill's friend, that's mm. hard. And it clicks, it really works, and I'm very proud mm. of that. It's, uh, it's what the kids call a vibe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want to watch it? Who? Everyone. Everyone. I particularly hope a younger generation watches it. I mean, I've got there are 18 year olds in my family, in my friend's family, who kind of have no idea that this happened. There are deaths on a huge scale in Britain, and they have been brushed under the carpet a lot. And yeah, I think I think for a young generation to turn around and just to 
see what happened and respect those who, who fought the fought. And that was fight is still going on. Everything the people in this fight for is still going on with trans rights, etc. So, you know, it's like, if you want to arm yourself for battle, look at the battles that were fought before. And they have drugs which they double in price because they see AIDS as a chance to profit. I wonder, where do you think characters like Jill and Roscoe and Ash would be today? Uh, I wonder. If I'd kept on thinking like that, I'd end up churning out terrible dramas. I'd be going, Lydia, could you come and do this drama where it turns out Jill joined the, joined the arm? <laughs> join the arm! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see, like, Roscoe running, like, the Royal Vauxhall Tavern yeah. or something, like, yeah. easily. Yeah, oh, my God. That's exactly what he'd be doing. Absolutely. <laughs> so good. Ooh, oh, I've got him in front of me. The pink mug, an original from the Pink Palace. Can I have the mug? I don't know if it can be <laughs> trusted with you. Um, might give it to someone a little less smashy. Yeah, you smash it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we're gonna play a game together. This game <clears throat> is called Davies or 80. <laughs> Lydia and Ali, you have to guess whether the lines from this cup are a work of Russell T. Davies Ooh. or a line from an 80s pop banger. Oh. Okay. Oh. What a challenge. Oh. I tried not to do it. Turned over a new leaf, then tore right through. I tried not to do it. I turned over and then tore right through it. It's, um, it's a sin. It's Pet Shop Boys. It's, it's 80s. It's true. It's true. <laughs> is that where the name of the show came from? It is. Love that song. There's also a very old song from the 1930s called It's a Sin to Tell a Lie. Oh. That, uh, that my Auntie Maureen used to get drunk at Christmas and she would sing, It's a Sin to Tell a Lie. Like this. So it's always been a lovely favourite song of mine. So it's both. Another! No, down there, your ass. You need a good walk, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a shower this morning. My favorite scene. So, guys, Davies or 80s? I'm proud to say it was a Davies line. It would be a great song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Holly, Holly, there. please write that song. I, no, your ass, you're you need a good wash. Down there. Yeah. <laughs> your ass, you need a good wash. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we only have one more. On a street like this, Every single night, anyone can meet anyone. And every single night, someone meets someone. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Ollie doesn't fucking know. He does not fucking know. Fair. Song, 80s. It's giving you song. It's giving me song vibes. Mm. That's Davies. After reading a lot of Davies, you're like, this feels Davies. I can, I can sense. I can see that, It's yeah. giving you strong, Davies big vibes. Davies energy. <laughs> Mr. Russell T, is this you? That's the end of Queer as Folk 2. That's Stuart standing on Canal Street. In a street like yes. this, anyone can meet anyone. Oh, I can't yes. confirm. The man does know what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Mr. Russell T. Davies, thank you so <laughs> much for joining us. And thank you for your brilliant work. Oh, thank, thank you, darling. Russell. Thank all of you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Gang, what a time we've had. Thank you for joining me on the final It's a Sin After Hours pub, lounge, club, uh. disco. It's been real. It's been chill. Can I trouble you for one more final? La, la, la. That was really great. I think it was nice. I feel good about it. That was good. Wow. That was good. Yeah, wow. That was good.